Okay, YouTube. This is a 2021 Giant Rain 29-2. We just got this in today. It's basically been pre-sold like uh, most pandemic era bikes. Um, so I came in after hours to just record this so that people know what the 2021s look like. This is the second year of the Rain 29. It's mostly unchanged um, as far as the general specifics of the bike, um, with the exception of that Yari on there is now 170 millimeters. That used to be 160 millimeters. It is paired with 146 millimeters of rear travel, which is controlled by Maestro suspension. Maestro is a short dual link design, somewhat similar to a DW-ish design, uh, the way Giant tends to engineer these things. You get really, really good small bump compliance on this new version. You get really good mid-stroke support uh, and some really good pedaling efficiency. Um, our shop in general, I would say, are pretty big fans of um, both how Maestro rides and also um, just having sold these things for years and years, uh, just the longevity of all of the pivot components um, the bearings, all that sort of stuff, don't tend to die a fast death like some of the other designs that really um, must be overloading um, or stressing out pivots or bearings. Um, I'll just go over some of the details of this bike. This is a Canadian color. This is like a green and black. Um, it replaces what they call titanium for last year, and this is warming up on me really, really fast. I love the titanium color, but the deep sparkles in this green um, really are something special. Um, other changes for this year um, basically show that these guys are listening to what people are actually doing in the real world. So we're seeing things like that front tire is a Maxxis ass guy. Uh, 2.5 wide trail. It's on a 30 millimeter wide internal rim, so it works out really well. It's an XO casing tire. I would maybe say it'd be nice to see XO Plus on there, but um, they're also, I think, trying to keep weight on these guys pretty reasonable. Uh, we're seeing the sort of unbranded level of Shimano four piston brakes on here, which I think is a really cool spec. A RockShox Deluxe Select Plus. So that is a relatively simple air shock, but you do have a, um, basically an open or a firm switch on there and rebound control. So it kind of does those general things that a shock needs to do. Um, an SLX drivetrain, 1x12, including SLX cranks. And actually using a Shimano hub, which means they can, it's got the micro spline on there, so it can do the 1051 gearing. Um, cool features as well. This is a new thing for Giant, is this really functional uh, sort of a chainstay protector. Uh, the idea with those ribs is that it really helps to sort of mute some of the chain noise and um, it goes top and bottom so if you happen to be an idiot like i was my last ride and you somehow unclutched your rear derailleur and only realize after smashing through the first few rocks it'll shut the thing up a little bit at least uh, a rear tire minion dhr2 29 by 2.4 uh, exo casing again a uh, special thing with giant is when they come out of the box, it's already got that tubeless valve in place and they send a sealant to put in there. So it's not like one of those things where you get tubeless ready stuff, but you still have to retape a rim 
buy a valve, buy your stands, you're just ready to roll. Um, look at that paint again, I love it. Angles on this bike, um, now that we're on a 170 fork, things have slackened just a touch, which means 64.6, I think they say, for head tube angle. Uh, the reach number reduced just a touch. This is a large and it's down to 488. I think it was a 491 or 493 last year. Seat tube angle still steep enough that this thing is going to climb really, really well. That was a feature of last year's bike that absolutely blew me away. Uh, for a bike to carry the rain name tag and be such a good climber, um, well, keeping its prowess on the descents through bigger wheels and really, really good geometry. Um, I almost thought they needed to rename the bike because the previous 27.5 rain was known to be an awesome descender, but it wasn't known to be the best climber in the world, largely just due to a, a slack seat tube angle. We'll just go back down, have a look. There's that MRP chain guide. So they really aren't leaving you with anything that you're going to feel like you have to do on this bike. Um, your brakes, your drivetrain, your suspension, your geometry, the stuff that isn't branded, like the giant stem and bars, is like, I think, a really comfortable angle, an appropriate length. Even down to that seat, the old giant seat was perhaps one of the least comfortable things I'd ever put under my ass. Uh, this Romero from just quickly sitting on here, it actually has some padding and has a mildly cupped shape. And so this bike is going to be, in Canada at least, maybe the best way you can spend 3,500 bucks and just go riding and not feel the need to upgrade anything. It has some cheap plastic pedals on here right now. That's from us just test riding it in a fairly empty store from the COVID uh, bike craze emptying us out. And if you asked me, the only thing I could criticize on these guys, because I absolutely love this bike, is that that dropper, this is a size large, I think it's only a 150 mil dropper. Um, I could easily ride a 210 dropper on the size large that I was riding this year. Um, and that just seems to be like a giant anomaly that they tend to be scared of leaving small people who are sizing up on a bike having to downsize their dropper. But the trade-off is that us kind of tall freaks, we are stuck maybe wanting to get like a 1-up and a 210, something like that. But at least the giant droppers seem to give pretty good performance for the first couple of years. Um, so when the time is done and your giant stock seat pose dies, maybe that's when you upgrade. And that, my friends, is the 2021 Giant Rain 29-2 Alloy Frame Full SLX Four Piston Awesome Tires Bike Ready to Rock and Roll Climb Like a Beast, Descend Like a Beast That's it